Hello everyone, welcome to MS Safety Webcast. In this video, we are going to see the steps on how to increase file attachment size in Exchange 2019. Remember, that is the difference between message size limits and attachment size limits in Exchange 2019. The message size limits owns the limits to be applied to total size of a message that contains the header, body, and any attachment of the mail. However, the attachment size limit applies only to the size of an individual attachment. While you can't limit the number of attachments on a message, you can use the maximum message size limit to control the maximum total of attachment on a message. In this video, we will increase file attachment size in Microsoft Exchange 2019 using the Exchange Admin Center web interface. But before we do that, let's see the default attachment size. And for that, I'm going to open Google Chrome and type URL https colon double slash mail dot msftwebcast dot com slash over to access Outlook on the web. Access the mailbox of our user Anand Panchal with the password. Click on New to compose a new mail. Click on Attachment icon to attach a PDF file. Let's click on Next stop. And here I have one dot PDF file with the size of around 17.5 MB. Let's select it. And here, as we can see, we are getting an error message that the following files weren't attached because adding them would cause the message to exceed the maximum size limit of 10 MB. After seeing this error, we can see the default attachment maximum size limit is 10 MB in Exchange 2019. And that's why we want to increase this attachment size limit. There are multiple places that message size limits can be applied for an on-premises action server environment like organization-wide transport configuration or at send and receive connectors. We will use Exchange Management Shell to check the current Exchange message size limit in the Exchange organization. So let's go to Exchange Management Shell. Let me clear the screen. First, we are going to check the transport configuration maximum send size and maximum receive size. We are going to use the get-transport config cmdelete. So our cmdelete will be get-transport config pipe format list max send size comma max receive size. We need to press enter key. From the result, we can see that the limit is 10 MB for maximum send size and maximum receive size. The second cmdelete is to get the receive connector maximum message size limit. For that, we will use get hyphen receive connector cmdelete. The complete cmdelete will be get hyphen receive connector pipe format list name comma maximum message size. We need to press enter key. And from the result, we can see that the limit is 36 MB for all default receive connector. Next, you need to check the send connector max message size configuration settings. But Still now, on our Exchange environment, we haven't created any send connector. But suppose, if you have created send connector in your organization, then you need to use cmdelete get-send connector to get the maximum message size limit. And for that, cmdelete will be get-send connector pipe format list name and max message size. You need to press enter key and if you have send connector, the limit will be listed in the output of the same delete. In the last, we will use get hyphen mailbox same delete to check the user mailbox maximum send size and maximum receive size. This is the mailbox of the user that is sending the message. In our case, it is Anand Panchal. So our same delete will be get hyphen mailbox hyphen identity, it is going to be Anand Panchal format list name max send size and max receive size. We need to press enter key. 
ओके आई थिंक आई मेड अ मिस्टेक इन टाइपिंग अनंत प्लस प्रेस एंटर की अगेन एंड फॉर अवर यूजर अनंत पंचाल मैक्सिमम सेंड साइज इज अनलिमिटेड मैक्सिमम रिसीव साइज इज ऑल्सो अनलिमिटेड नाउ दैट वी हैव गैदर्ड ऑल द इंफॉर्मेशन वी कैन सी दैट the transport configuration maximum size is 10 mb so we need to change the transport configuration maximum size limit in order to increase the file attachment size and to do that we are going to use action admin center let's click on internet explorer type in url https colon double slash localhost slash ecp and press enter key to access action admin center click on more information and click on go on to the web page let's sign in as an administrator with the password in the action admin center we need to click on mail flow and then after we need to click on receive connectors tab we need to click on three dots to open more menu from this menu click on organization transport settings let's click on it from the limits now we can change the maximum receive message size in mb to the value that we want let me change this value to 20 mb and i'm going to do the same for maximum send size let's specify 20 mb you can change this value as per your organization's requirement let's click on save to save this changes fine let's again go back to the exchange management shell and let's run same delete get hyphen transport config to verify the changes let's press enter key and here we can see a maximum send size is now changed to 20 mb and maximum receive size is also changed to 20 mb but this settings still are not in effect if we want to apply this settings we need to restart the all action server related services and as i'm using the test environment in virtual box i can restart the all action server related services right now but in production environment you need to schedule the restart of your action server first i'm going to sign out from the let me discard this mail let's sign out from our user anand panchal and let's close google chrome and let me sign out from exchange admin center as well let me close internet explorer as well let's clear the screen first let's get the list of exchange server related services using the same delete get hyphen service let's press enter key and these are the list of the services related to exchange here we can see one service is there for hyper v data action service so we need to exclude the service from the list and for that let me use uh, pipe or specify where display name not like hyper v let's press enter key and now as we can see that service is not listed in this list of action related service fine so we have successfully get the list of all the services related to our action server now let's restart all the services for that let's specify restart services let's specify force and press enter key again i want to remind you that i am using the test environment in oracle virtual box and that's why i am restarting action related services right now in the production environment you need to schedule the restart of your exchange 2019 server after restarting all the exchange server related services let's again check the attachment size limit you can also use services management console to restart exchange related services after restarting all the exchange related services now let's again check the attachment size limit and for that i'm going to open google chrome and let's type url https colon double slash mail dot msft webcast dot com slash ova to access outlook on the web let's press enter key and let's access the mailbox of our user anand panchal 
Let's click on new to compose a new email. Click on attach. Select the file which is in a size 17 MB. Click on open. And this time without any problem, user is able to attach the file with the size of 17 MB. That means we have successfully changed the attachment size limit from 10 MB to 20 MB. In this way, we can increase file attachment size in Action Server 2019 using the Action Judgment Center. That's all for this video. Thank you all for watching this video. Have a nice day.